Hey, allies, it's Tom for Alliance Comics Toys and Games. Uh, got a box of books back from CGC. Um, this is mostly going to be modern stuff, so let's see what we got in here. They're pretty tight. There we go. Okay, first up we have a 9 and 8, which is nice to see. Supergirl number one. This is the Michael Turner sketch variant. Really cool looking book. Um, I really like Michael Turner's work. Um, and this cover is pretty unique with it being a sketch cover. I like the splash of color with her logo on the front there. So. Oh, another 98. This one's Batman 65. This is the first appearance of Damien Cameo. <clears throat> um, great cover. Um, I love it with these bats flying through here like this, uh, and like Batman leading, you know, leading the swarm. It's a pretty cool cover, uh, nice modern key, and real happy with the grade. Let's see. Oh, good. Here's Red Sun number two in a 9-8. Um, on a pretty good roll here. This is a great storyline. Um, book number one had some issues, so I didn't send it off. But uh, number three's in here too. I don't know when we'll get to it, but number three's in here as well. But this is a killer uh, alternate universe storyline, Red Sun. It's uh, Superman actually landed in Russia and became a tool of the Communist Party uh, instead of being a tool for the United States. Um, and it's just a great story. There's all kinds of alternate universe characters in it. There's a different type of Batman, Green Lantern. Um, I don't want to do too many of the other sp uh, spoilers in there because there's some pretty cool ones. Great storyline, great book. Ah, here's Red Sun number three. Another just killer cover. I love this with, you know, Superman, his eyes, you know, ready to, to shoot the lasers out. Um, but at the same time, you know, he's always watching uh, great propaganda, homage or parody. Uh, this is this killer. Loving these grades. Oh, here's Deadpool Secret Wars number one. It's a, uh, I think this is the, I can't remember the artist, the Scotty Young um, variant. Really, really cool. Again, another homage cover to the classic Secret Wars cover with Hulk holding everything up and then Deadpool dropping down on top of them. Um, just, just really, really cute, really clever. Uh, great cover, great variant, great grade. Just everything great. Here's uh, a video game crossover, God of War number two. Number one should be in here as well. Um, another another 9-8. Um, these crossover collectibles sell pretty well in the shop. You know, I sell video games here as well. And you get a lot of fans who want the other, you know, the other pieces that are marketed towards their favorite games or whatever. They just like having them around. And I'm fine, you know, the purest comic book collector mostly wants the books rare, or, I'm sorry, raw. Um, and there's a lot of people who are really, just, I'm finding at my store anyway, a lot of people who really like having the graded stuff because 
It looks really cool hanging on the wall. You know, it's protected and everything. It's just a great way to display your book. Um, so, and I'm having more and more customers ask me to get things graded for them. Oh, here we go. Another 98. New Mutants 98. Or I'm sorry, that 98. New Mutants 1. Um, and a 98. And uh, this book has cooled a little bit. I wish I would have had it in about three or four months ago when it was really hot with the uh, movie about to come out. Movie's been put on delay because of the pandemic. Um, but this book has cooled off, you know, three to six months ago. I could have got 100 to $150 for it, and I'll be lucky to get 50 to 75 for it. Um, so pretty, good, pretty cool cover. So. Here's Batman 77. This is the death of Alfred. I got this the day the book came out at another store. I don't do current issues um, here at the store. I only do back issues. So I ran out and got it. You can tell it was a high grade. Happy to have it in a, a 9.8. Again, it doesn't bring stupid money, but totally worth having. Totally worth having in a high grade. Here's a cool Batman Rebirth variant, the Legacy Edition. Um, I love Harley Quinn covers, and this is a really cool one. So, just it's just just a cool cover, Batman number one of the Rebirth storylines. Ooh, Air Force, A Force One. Again, another 9.8. Um, this is cooled off a little bit. Um, it's the first appearance of Singularity. There's also thought that, that in the Marvel movie universe, they may do an A-Force storyline um, because you have several of the female Marvel characters, you know, in a storyline. So there's thoughts that this might actually happen in, in motion picture form, especially when they did the whole shot in in game where they had all the female heroes that one that one shot there was a lot of speculation based on that but it's still a good book i mean it's 100 to 150 dollars in a 98 oh. now this is the second printing but it's uh original sin amazing spider-man 4 this is the first time that cindy moon becomes silk um, who's Silk is supposed to be in the next Spider-Verse movie, I believe. Um, but a real popular character in the Spider-Man storylines. Um, and, you know, 9-8, solid, solid grade, or, you know, great grade, and killer cover. So. Ah. Uh, here's... The Boys, number five. These early um, Wildstorm Boys copies are really going up in value based on the Amazon series. Um, so, and, and having, and, and, you know, any of the first five and a 9.8 is, is money in the bank. So, real happy with that. Great, great sh show. If you haven't watched it, you should check it out. Here's the boys number six. Another 9-8. Another wild storm. And just a just a colorful cover here. So that's pretty cool. Getting to some walking dead. Here's another book I wish I would have had back sooner. This is the first full appearance of Alpha. Um, if you watch the if you watch the TV show, you know the storylines just ended. Um, but uh, again, three to six months ago, this book would have been worth almost double what it's worth now. It's kind of crashed since the show's her storyline's over. So you know, what are you gonna do?
Another Walking Dead. Another 9-8. Walking Dead 101. This is the Foxy Brown variant cover with Michonne. Um, really cool ghost variant. And it's just, 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 just a really cool retro look to it and everything. Um, and this, this book brings, you know, a decent price, you know, around a hundred, a hundred bucks for it as well. Most of these are in that price range. There's nothing crazy stupid in there. Uh, not much, not too many of them are going to get over that. Here's another Walking Dead. Um, first appearance of Jesus. Um. Again, I wish I would have had this like a year and a half ago because it was really hot before his storyline came to an end. Um, but still, a very popular character in the comic and the TV show. And uh, really killer cover with him and Michonne on it. So, really dig it. It's really cool. Another Walking Dead. This is the Chromium variant. Um, it kind of has like a metallic look to it. So it's pretty cool. First appearance of Negan and Lucille. You know, it's it's kind of wild when a person, when a character's weapon, it's not the first time, but it's just always wild when a, when a character's weapon, the first appearance of a weapon shows up. Now it's happened with like Thor's hammer and um, uh, I'm drawing a blank here, but it's it's happened more more prior to Lucille and everything, but when when a, a villain's weapon or a hero's weapon becomes a major appearance, I think that's always kind of cool that uh, people love it so much that they have to look at it like that. And last but not least, uh, God of War, number one. So being able to sell one and two, this was only a two-run series um, under the Wildstorm um, publishing you know, having one and two side by side, these should sell pretty well. Um, having both of them, having them both in, in a really high grade. I mean, you can get to a 9.9 .9 and a, a 10 0, but it rarely happens. A 9.8 is about the best you can root for. So I got back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 9, eights. I don't know if I've ever had that happen before without doing qualified grading. Um, I do have a bunch of books. I have two, two lots of modern books. Um, they're at uh, CGC right now that are for qualified grading, but uh, really happy with these. But bought a collection, and those books and these, these are the ones that I that I went through, and I and I thought they were pretty high grade, and sent them off uh, right away. The other ones kind of took my time to build up to get that number. Um, but I'm going to be having a lot of moderns coming back over the next couple of weeks because this collection is massive. It's over 10,000 comic books and I've been slowly going through it. A lot of full runs, a lot of sets, things like that. And if you're interested in, in there's, a, there's a little bit of everything. There's a lot of independence, a lot of image, vertigo, um, dynamite. There's a lot of Marvel, DC, um, and like I said, there's a lot of complete runs and a lot of stuff that people are looking for. This guy was a big Garth Ennis fan, so pretty much everything that Garth Ennis did is in this lot. Um, but he, he collected a lot of popular titles as well. I mean, um, there was almost the full run of Ultimate Spider-Man, um, NYX. Uh, I'm trying to think of everything. I mean, uh, there's, there's a whole run of Powers. There's... A whole bunch of Invincible. Um, I, I can't, it just goes on. Excuse me. It just goes on and on. Uh, so if you're interested, I've been posting a lot of it on Instagram and Facebook. I've been selling lots of uh, complete runs, single books, things like that on there. And if you're interested in looking at any of that or possibly buying some of it, my Instagram page is Alliance Comics Toys and Games. Same for Facebook. Like and follow me there, um, and uh, some of these books will end up on there as well. Some will end up on the wall for sale at another time. Um, if you see anything, you can always contact me, and uh, you know, hopefully, we can possibly do some business that way. Um, so yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, I appreciate you guys watching, 
and keep watching. I, pretty soon I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I know I've teased that a couple of times, but in the next week or so, uh, I'm going to finally do my first giveaway. It might be one of these books or something like that, but I want to start expanding and getting out there more. Um, so, so yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching.